If you've ever read about quantitative and mathematical finance, you probably have come across volatility smile or volatility skew. But what exactly are they? First, when we talk about volatility here, we are talking about so-called implied volatility, which is implied from option prices, as opposed to realized volatility, which is based on historical movements of the asset price. Second. Since the volatility is implied from option prices, you would need to use a mathematical model to connect the option price to volatility. In practice, people use the standard Black-Scholes model. From any finance book, you can find the Black-Scholes formulas of the call and put option prices as follows. Note the option value depends on the optionality. With higher volatility. There's more optionality, or higher chances for the option to be in the money at the expiry, so the option has higher value. In more technical terms, the derivative of option value to volatility, or vega, is always positive if you are long an option, whether it's a call or a put. Now everything else being equal in the Black-Scholes model. The risk-free rate, the time to maturity, the option value increases monotonically with volatility. So traders often simply just use volatility to quote option prices. We can then draw the graph of volatility versus option strike. For example, for an equity index such as SPX, the vol to strike curve usually looks like a concave curve. One detail that needs to be stressed is the volatility used in this volatility curve is implied from out of the money options. That means, on the left, where strike is smaller than the current price, the volatility is the implied volatility of out of the money puts, while on the right, it is that of out of the money calls. So why is the volatility curve for an equity index usually skewed towards out of the money puts? Since the volatility is just price, the relatively higher volatility or higher price for out of the money puts is mostly driven by demand. Think about all the insurance companies, mutual funds, or long-only equity funds, because they are mostly long equity. They need to buy out of the money puts. To hedge against the downside, while for some commodities such as crude oil, when some conditions are met, the vol curve could be skewed towards out of the money calls because big companies, big consumers, may need to hedge against the upside. Another more advanced concept I would like to briefly introduce is that the skew. Depends on the time to maturity. When it gets closer to maturity, the vol curve gets steeper. In more technical terms, this can be quantified by a larger difference of out of the money and out of the money vols, or so-called butterfly. This tendency generates a very good trading opportunity, or again, to use a more technical term, a potentially strong alpha. Of course. There are some risks associated with any trading opportunities. One such risk here could be the liquidity for far out of the money options. The lower the liquidity, the larger the bid ask spread, and sometimes the option may not even be tradable. I know I mentioned some more advanced stuff at the end, but hopefully you find this short video a good resource for you to get some basic understanding of volatility smile or skew. Okay, thanks for watching, and hope to see you next time.